This is Eagle News, Washington, D.C. I am Ace Ramirez. Single young adult members of the Church of Christ, or Iglesia Ni Cristo, sponsor a wedding planning expo in the Mid-Atlantic region. EBC's Christine Mariano with a story. Christine? Finally, saying I do may be exciting for a couple planning to tie the knot, but is it really as simple as uttering these two words? The Church of Christ or Iglesia Ni Cristo Christian Family Organization for single members ages 18 years and above, otherwise called Kadiwa, will break down today what getting married really entails. The planning stage at least. Come with me to meet some of the vendors for today. Uh, so the national average um, for a wedding these days, um, it obviously it depends on where um, where you're located and the different factors you have. But the national average is right around twenty five thousand um, dollars. But what's nice about today is there's a lot of um, resources available online, like this wedding budget um, estimator tool that couples can use to help plan um, their finances for their wedding. So nowadays uh, in uh People prefer, I, I believe, like digital invitations. But um, what do you think? Uh, do people prefer that, uh, or like just the regular paper type of invitation? Like, what's trendy nowadays? So I think people probably go digital more if it's kind of uh, more like a short notice, last minute wedding. But I do think there's still value in the paper invitation. A lot of people still go for it. Um, it's just something tangible, it's a keepsake, it's something to kind of give your guests a feel of what to expect at your wedding. That's why I think invitations are so important still to have for your wedding. Um, there's certain trends that people like, it's usually with the season, like right now it's a lot of florals, people like the folders, um, but it really is whatever vibe you're going for at your wedding, usually it's what you should reflect in your invitation. Um, the couples actually like something that's with a beautiful background, so they like to take it to somewhere that's like related to their relationship, like where they met or where that guy proposed. Or something that's important to, to the two of them. Uh, maybe famous locations, like in DC usually it's the monuments, right? Um, parks are a big deal too, but for me, my, my favorite shots actually is when the couple is having a, a fun, like like I'm not there. Yeah, that's those are my favorites. Usually, the bride should stand out, uh, so beauty makeup, but a little more enhanced than normal. Yes. How about for the entourage? For the entourage, they should not. Um, they should not over be overemphasized. They should be more downplayed so that the bride will stand out. She's the main focus of the day. Uh, as far as honeymoons, it really depends on where they want to do or what type of honeymoon they'd like. Uh, there's different kinds like relaxation, adventure, uh, something like going to Europe or Asia. But usually between May and October, it's usually Southeast Asia. Thailand has been a popular destination for 2017 and we think 2018 will be the same. Uh, Europe, France, and London are always big popular places. But one thing in our agencies that we're trying to do is Philippines. Philippines is an undiscovered area, um, and the tourism board has done a lot to promote its uh, inbound tourism. So we hope uh, Philippines will be the next destination for honeymoons. This is Chester and Erica, a newly engaged couple. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Hi. Hi May I see your ring? <laughs> okay, let's like, literally show. <laughs> How newly, newly engaged, Erica. So when did you guys get engaged? December 1st. How did you propose? So I planned this all out in the cruise ship um, to be in the front of the cruise ship, like Titanic <laughs> style, but the front of the ship was closed because it was too windy. So I decided to put it on the highest top of the, highest deck of the ship. So, and then we went up there. I tried to um, slowly, you know, ease her into it. Got her a rose and we walked up there and I sang her her favorite song. Uh, which is perfect, bad Shiran. So you guys are here so that you can make maybe the planning as simple as possible so far. What is your favorite booth and why? Uh, I think we mostly uh, looked around the travel agency booth just because we do don't really know what we want to do for our honeymoon yet. So it's really nice to see all the different destinations that are offering. 
Um, any particular destinations you guys want to go to? Hawaii. <laughs> awesome. With me is Mark and Ara, another newly engaged couple. Hi, Ara and Mark. Hello. And can I see your uh, your engagement um, ring, which is beautiful? <laughs> so, uh, how is this event helping you guys out? Like so far, um, what have you guys visited, and what's helpful booth-wise? And why do you think this is a different kind of event? Yeah, so first of all, um, it's really helpful for us because all of the booths here are kind of geared towards the church and sponsored by the church, so they already know what kind of the, the guidelines and what's allowed and what's not. So that's really helpful for us uh, rather than talking to like third-party vendors. What's, what has been really helpful so far, booth-wise? Well, actually, what's most helpful was the flower uh, booth, uh, the back, the paper flowers, because we've been looking for something like a backdrop for the longest time, and it's you know a big coincidence that we met someone here who could help us out with that. Yeah. As a great addition, an advice panel gave spectators tips on how to make wedding planning easier on each other. Minister supervising the Mid-Atlantic region, Brother Matthew Capistrano, said planning every single wedding detail is necessary. After all, marriage is a huge blessing from God. Many times we've heard how married couples reminisce how unforgettably stressful their wedding was. Losing weight and sleep during their planning with unexpected incidents in between may have turned some dream weddings into a nightmare. Today, however, from paperwork to budgeting to invitations to reception, down to the littlest of details, the Kadiwa Wedding and Planning Seminar and Showcase makes the exchange of vows as stress-free as possible. Reporting from Washington, D.C., I am Christine Mariano, and I am one with 25. Thanks, Christine. The Church of Christ Christian Family Organization for Single Adults is called Kadiwa. That is today's Eagle News, Washington, D.C. Join us again tomorrow as we bring stories that matter to you. Visit our website at eaglenews.ph, like us on Facebook, Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash eaglenewsph. Thank you for watching. I'm Ace Ramirez. I'm one with 25.